Uh, folks. So it's day, what, 279 of the year? Let me check. Let me check. Is it day 279 or 280? I was busy yesterday. I done uh, some videoing on my camera stuff. Let me fix that glare. a little better <laughs> maybe I should adjust the camera angle I don't know sorry about that talking on my new GoPro at the moment so you may hear a little background noise I haven't got the external mics hooked in yet um, and uh, you know I'm still practicing with it so there you go okay yes yeah, it's, it's 279 of the year so yesterday I did not well I did film my food and stuff from yesterday um, I'm slumming it a bit today because everyone in the house is still asleep. So, and it's 11:31 a.m. Everybody's sleeping in today. Typical lazy Saturday for my family, but uh, you know, I love them. I'm not going to disturb them. All right, so. yesterday what day yesterday uh oh uh yesterday afternoon i was supposed to go do uh the barbecue thing uh in that historic town that i showed you yesterday in uh, the action three video but that didn't work out uh my wife was uh taking a client a former client of hers uh to that place and uh she has to be signed out because she lives uh in a uh county and state run facility uh, by her choice, she has a uh, aunt and uh, some nephews to take care of her. But uh, she decided she wanted to uh, live in that assisted living program with other people like her. And they take them places and do fun things with them and out to eat and stuff like that. Of course she likes that. <laughs> but Janice, my wife, still has a lot to do with her from time to time. And that's something they do together every year is go to that. And... Uh, since she had to do the signing out earlier, so you, they had to go ahead and get that over with while I was still in the process of going to pick up my daughter. And uh, so I ate by myself, and I ate at the uh, buffet. I ate a salad, some baked chicken, and uh, some uh, turnip greens and some cabbage. So I just did chicken and vegetables. The salad was vegetables only with a little bit of uh, honey mustard as dressing. This morning, I haven't eaten anything yet since yesterday, and that was all I had to eat yesterday. But today, I made the soup. Soup. <laughs> and this soup, uh,. It's got broccoli and chicken and <laughs> broccoli, chicken, and uh, cauliflower in there. That's all it's got. Super hot right now. I'm scared to take a bite. But uh, I used oat milk. I used a packet of uh, ranch dressing seasoning in there. All low calorie, all low carb ingredients. And uh, 
besides the oat milk I poured about a uh, cup of uh, Frank's Red Hot in there and uh, the color of it if you can see that is awesome kind of looks like you know the color of like what celery soup would look like and uh, the Frank's Red Hot and the uh, ranch dressing done its job to kill off the taste of that nasty oat milk now it's just a creamy soup I did put uh, tablespoon of xanthan gum in there for a thickener and it done its job well I mean it thickened it up pretty good that's what xanthan gum is designed for to thicken up soups and stews and stuff now xanthan gum is nothing but a fiber I read up that the calories in it is not absorbed into the body. It just, uh, since it's an insoluble fiber or whatever, it just passes through. And it takes stuff with it. <laughs> so, get a double benefit there, I suppose. Uh, I found a, a little, I guess it's four cup, uh, was that a quart? Half quart, I'm not sure. I think it's quart things of uh, oat milk and almond milk at the uh, Dollar Tree and both of them were low in carbohydrate and calories so I picked up one of each because it has been cooler outside and I have been craving soup lately so here we go But anyway, I'm going to let you go right here. I'm going to eat my soup, and I will come back to you later if we decide to eat anything else. I may just eat this soup today. I've got another bowl or two left in the pot, and that'd be what I eat for today. I don't know. We'll decide in a little while, but we'll talk to you then. All right, folks. So uh, I am talking to you on the Osmo Action 3 hooked into my computer using it as a webcam this is neat just want to see how this works out <laughs> yeah I'm really digging the new camera I'm telling you what uh, now the pocket 2 will do the same thing or the action tube rather will do the same thing this little guy here um, it will do the same thing but at the risk of overheating I just never could quite get it to work but this one just seems to recognize through the computer hardware itself so ah right, so today I uh, me and my wife went to Subway I got a turkey sub and only ate uh, half of that uh, along with that uh, bowl of soup that you see me eat earlier today. I have footage and stuff from yesterday, but I'm having charging issues right now. My daughter came and took my uh, USB-C cable for my uh, power module that goes to my Osmo Action here. Um, And uh, I kind of need that. <laughs> I got one, but for some reason, it's not the cord on it is not uh, powerful enough to uh, charge it the way it should. So, me getting this new action camera couldn't have come at a better time because uh, it's not as fiddly like that as the uh, Action 2 has been. Uh, the top unit, the charger, the the camera unit still has plenty of uh, battery life on it. I got two of those uh, 
screen boxes. I got two of the bottom section there. I got two of those. And one's charging now, and the other one's not charged, so <clears throat> not using it. Kind of like being able to just char to just do this right off of the webcam, right? I mean, if I go live, this thing is going to be amazing. <laughs> Uh, before, when I would talk to you on my webcam, it would be this little guy here. This little webcam right here. And it's uh, quite a few years old, so uh, I got high hopes for this one. I am looking into the front-facing screen on my camera at you guys now. And then I got a screen on the computer with me talking as well. So... My, all this new technology, man, I just don't know what to do. This is great. This is going to come in really nice for uh, not having to uh, capture the audio and then re-download it. It's just going to go straight into my computer onto my software where I, am, where I do my editing. So, this is going to be fantastic. I cannot wait to hear how it sounds. Uh, yeah, I got the other half a sub put up in the refrigerator now. So, I ate that bowl of soup. I ate that half of a sub. I'm probably not going to eat anything else today. I was done eating all that by 3 o'clock this afternoon. Um, I do have footage of uh, my food and stuff from Friday, but I'm not going to go through the trouble to uh, download that today. I, I might show you a clip of that tomorrow. It was uh, just that buffet restaurant that you see me eat at a million times. Uh, got me a salad there, like I said, and some grilled chicken, and some turnip greens, and some cabbage. Uh, I guess it was more like a baked chicken. They didn't have any breasts left, so I got two chicken thighs, and that's what I ate. Two chicken thighs. Uh, oven baked chicken thighs. And some veggies and a salad, you know, so... That was all I had for yesterday. Oh, I did have one more thing that I did capture. Uh, I had one of these. I'll show. I'll include that in tomorrow's video. <laughs> like I said, I've been extremely busy doing uh, filming on the camera stuff. But uh, those are peanut butter cookies made by Atkins. Only 150 calories there. Yeah, and I only come with four, so I only ate one of those yesterday, and it is hard for me not to tear up these other three, because uh, that cookie was good. It was really, really good. Uh, definitely going to be seeing me uh, eat those other three at some point. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I guess that's all I have for today. So until tomorrow, you folks have a good one.